What's up and good evening guys. Welcome back to another video. Today we've got, well today, tonight, we've got at SoCal Greg A. Say what's up buddy. Hi guys. How's it going? This is where we do this like the awkwardness of what's gonna happen here. Oh, we are, since Chris is out of town, we're now to an garage. So all of our Texas buddies, if you see Chris, cause he's still gonna be out there by the time this video goes live, buy him something at Bucky's. Just don't buy him any of that garbage Whataburger. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so. Danny, what are we doing today? So, I tow a lot. If you guys don't believe me, Instagram's right there. Go check it out, give it a follow, and since you're already on the Instagrams, go to the search engine, type in workforward apparel, hit that link to workforwardapparel.com, go buy yourself some merch. Look at this, Danny's just becoming a pro with the plug. So we've got the Bronco coming in clutch right now with some lights. I didn't want to do this video at night, but uh, me and Danny, we, we work for a living, so sometimes you can only do stuff at night. Yeah, like I'd much rather be in bed right now, but shit. It's still early, Danny, it's still early. Okay, so don't mind this blindingly bright light that's on me right here, thanks to the rigid lights on the Bronco there. But what we're gonna be doing today is, uh, well, it's in the back of Danny's truck right here. Uh, and there's a good reason Danny's got a trailer hooked up because we're gonna be doing some testing today on a product that We've shown a little bit on this channel. I've never actually had personal experience with it though. And look, look at that shadow right there. It's like a it's log in back there. How dirty oh. the truck is, I work. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, in this box right here, we have what is supposed to be the best alternative to airbags on a truck. I'm trying to get the shadow out of my face. Our buddy Nick uses these pretty much exclusively on his truck. He's got a 2022? Yeah, Chevy 2500 HD. Nick pulls a fifth wheel toy hauler with his truck. And if you guys have ever towed anything with substantial weight on a truck, especially a lifted truck, you'll realize that usually you're gonna get some sag in the rear end. I mean, you can see a little bit of it right now on Danny's truck, it's kind of hard to tell but the rear is dropped a little bit lower than the front there. The most typical way you can combat that, as most of us have done, uh, is running airbags in the rear. Most companies make just a kit that you can bolt on airbags, and depending on how you wanna do it, it's either kinda simple and you bolt on some bags, but then you gotta run like little Schrader valves, Schrader valves, Schrader valves, Schrader valves, Schrader valves, I think they're called Schrader valves, and you have to manually air them up, which nobody wants that anymore. So nowadays, you're running into a lot of work because now you gotta put the airbags in, then you gotta run a compressor, you gotta run wiring, you gotta run some type of switch or controller into the cab. Some have wireless controllers, some don't. Uh, and then if you're gonna do that, you might as well like put an air chuck because now you have onboard air. And it's a lot of work when you start getting into the airbag world. Or you've got this alternative right here, which is the Roadmaster Active Suspension. Nick's worked with these guys a lot and he could probably explain this better, but I'm gonna take a little clip here that we got at SEMA of the guys at Roadmaster Active Suspension actually explaining their product much better than these two dummies will be able to. So let's cut to a clip of that now and then we're gonna be doing some testing. What's going on, man? My name is Will Agnew uh, with Road Active Suspension, RAS Suspension. And uh, this is our product. This is our heavy duty version. And it basically installs on a fully arched leaf spring. So you get your truck in the air, you let the axle hang free, or the jack and some jack stands, or if you have access to a lift, that's great as well. And this comes fully assembled in the box. You take it right out of the box, one hook on the back eye, one bolt on the front, hold one side with one wrench, you turn the other side with the other wrench. That's the whole installation. Take you maybe 30, 45 minutes on some jack stands, maybe 20 minutes with a lift. What's happening is the threaded rod's being drawn down into the coil spring here, and the spring would start to open up if I was strong enough to do that by hand. Once you get there, lock the lock nuts in place. That's the whole installation. Put the wheels back on the ground, leaf spring comes back up. That gap you set is forced open. All it wants to do, it's a glorified slinky you played with when you're a kid. You stretch it, it wants to come back together. Gotcha. So it's trying to pull itself closed again which forces the wheel down, so it's giving you traction 24 seven, with or without a load. When you normally a pickup truck, you go over a bad patch of road, your wheels go boom, 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 until they catch the ground. With our product, you just roll over a bad patch of road, you roll in and out of potholes. It takes all the extra bounce away. The second thing it does for you 24 seven, it eliminates the side to side body roll. Normally you're in a pickup truck, semi flies past you, you get that leaning sensation. Or if you have to take a sharp maneuver or just a sharp corner, you lean the opposite way that you turn. Right. From your leaf spring flattening out. With this on there, it feels like a sports car. It doesn't allow your leaf spring to flatten out. Gotcha. And then the more weight you add, the third thing it does, that opens up more. It progressively wants to pull itself back together so it eliminates some size. So as opposed to airbags, yep. what would be the, the, the difference or the, the selling feature over airbags? Is it that you constantly have that tension? 
you're, you're basically it's maintenance free would be my main thing about it okay so you're not either chasing air or or, or uh, paying thousands of dollars for a fancy button to press right so that's my main thing and nothing to go wrong no rock is going to jump in here and knock this off of your truck second thing is it, it, it does not harden your rod airbags are a great product they'll hold you level when they need to but when you're not towing you hit a bump, you feel it, because you have to keep a certain amount of PSI in them right. at all times. Our products set it, forget it, and it's always letting the least ring bend and flex at all times. So no. ride quality to me is gonna be my main factor over them, and then maintenance free. All right, so inside the box here, we've got, I mean, well. Another box. The fact that there's only one tiny box of hardware leads me to believe this is probably pretty simple. Uh, these things come, looks like pre-assembled, or even pre-lubed, Danny, just like you like them. Let's see, how many pages of instructions? Oh, we've even got uh, some QR codes. Oh, look at that, there's really one page of instructions. Because each page is for different trucks. All right, looks like we got some extensions. I believe that's what that box said. Oh, we almost lost one. Uh, for four by four, F350, and 250 only. That's what I got. I think we should actually read the instructions. We could probably call Nick and he could probably tell me how to do this with his eyes closed, but for the sake of doing it. Well, actually, we're not gonna install these yet. We're gonna do a test. So we're gonna pull, if it'll go, Danny claims I should have no problem getting the forklift up on his trailer. Uh, we're gonna pull the forklift on the trailer with his truck as is right now. And then we're gonna see what it looks like, how much it squats. And then we're gonna ins lot. install these boogers right here and see if that changes anything. Um, again, we, supposedly, these are supposed to basically be like airbags to where they'll compensate for more weight being on there. Um, on their own and then when you have the weight off it still constantly keeps some tension on there So it eliminates like that chatter and that bouncing that you would get with like a standard uh, Stock truck or a lifted truck because there's no weight in the rear end. Let's do a little test I'm gonna fire up the forklift here Danny get your trailer ready. Hopefully we got enough propane in here. Oh, no, that is that is E Not E for everybody E for out now the forklift is a little bit dirty it's a little dusty on the top there But the paint job's still looking good again. Just a, just a little bit dusty, but I remember when we painted this thing, everybody's like, oh, that thing's gonna get destroyed. Well, see, we don't have a bunch of like warehouse workers that don't care about their company's equipment here. It's just us. And well, even though we squeeze this thing in very tight spaces like this, we actually take care of it and we don't destroy it and it doesn't get all beat up. Yeah, yeah, hang up right there. I forgot you got little tires. You got little tires. Little tires. Right there. And believe it or not, this is the third forklift on this trailer. I'm actually going to get a measurement. A tape measure. We'll measure from wheel well to top of tire there gonna be the best way we're gonna be able to kind of measure a little squat on the rear end. Forklifts are pretty heavy, so clearly she's squatting that rear end pretty good. Because we ain't from uh, North Carolina. North Carolina, yee yees. Good, tooted. Let's give a little check check here. We've got, we'll call that, let's get about top of tire, try to not get in the tread there. We're gonna call that eight and an eighth to eight and a quarter. We're gonna have Danny pull his truck in the shop here. Bring her on in. Hey man, we got a what kind of antenna we got here. That Danny, powers. Bro, how do you see out of these windows, man? Uh, That's don't. bad, bro. I Jeez. <laughs> you barely see my hand in this freaking well lit shop. That's why I drive my windows down. Uh, that thing powers four eighty thousand dollar machines. Nice. Danny, get your strobes. Let's see them. Are those zip tied on? No, it's just the wire. <laughs> okay. I haven't been down to get Sergio to wire them up. All right, all right, fair. I still gotta get the, the top bar on there. Amazon special, hell yeah. There you go. Nice, nice. Alrighty, well, Danny, let's dive into these instructions here and see what the heck we gotta do. Well, gotta take the tires off, I don't know. It says we gotta take the tires off? Yeah, I don't, but we don't have to. Like, if I, if I saw one of Nick's videos, he didn't do that. I think he just reached in there and down did it. All right, we're gonna crack open the instructions here. Uh, do you have the factory overload springs? No. 
Okay. Raising the vehicle on a two post lift so the axle can hang. No. <laughs> Ooh, we could do it from the hitch. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart, smart. That's why you're here, buddy. That's why you're here. We're gonna jack it up from the hitch and not use a two post lift. Bro, check that out, man. Isn't that, yeah, look at that. That there Badland Jack from Harbor Freight does not get stuck on anything in the shop. <laughs> yeah. That thing comes in handy right there. Oh. Okay, apparently there's, there's more than uh, one page here. One page was just for removing the factory overload springs, which apparently Danny says he does not have on his truck. So now we move to page seven, which is the universal install. Once you basically get the you know factory overload or whatever your truck has off, then it's all pretty generic across the board. However, there's like three pages here. Uh, one whole page though is on pretty much jacking the vehicle up, supporting you with jack stands. We're just gonna let it free float and hope nobody dies tonight. Come on, this wouldn't be too idiotic garage if we use jack stands, Danny. Comes completely assembled out of the box, remove one side and place it on top of the leaf spring bracket. Like it looks really simple. The gold threaded rod is screwed inside the tension. You gotta unscrew the gold one. Did you unscrew the gold one? That one? I don't know. That one. I don't see a gold anything. Oh, that one. That one. Then we unscrewed? I don't know. Was that how it came out of the box? Because they That's say exactly. they screw it in for shipping. Which leads me to believe they just, they shorten it for shipping. Does it come out this way? There we go. All right. I'm gonna bring her out. Bring her out. Hey, Danny, 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 we gotta be able to see what you're doing, buddy. We gotta, hold on, where'd my light go? All right, so this would be much easier to do with the wheels off, because we could actually probably show you guys better, but I think it goes around the front, doesn't it? Or does that go around the rear? No, it goes around the rear. Okay. But how is that? Is there a factory bump stuff in the way? Mm -hmm. No, yeah, it just goes over top. But I didn't try that, I didn't fit. Do I gotta go over the side? Oh, I gotta go over the side of it. It won't go over the top? No. Can you? I'm literally doing this by looking at the camera screen. Yeah, there, dude, we that is there we go, look at that. On. Almost dead nuts. Was it? Right there. All right. <laughs> I literally cannot see. I'm just going off the GoPro camera screen here. All right, that's what we're, we're unthreading it more. We probably should have read how far we're supposed to unthread it. Well, I'm just kind of going based off what Nick does in his videos. Okay. So Danny has cheated and watched Nick's install video. Three times. I probably should have. Three times, okay, I probably should have. So if you guys want to watch that video, go to American Duramax on YouTube here. And he's got a lot of information on these things. So literally that side over there just hooks around the edge of the leaf spring, just like so, and grabs it. Then you have this mounting bracket on this side right here, which has a bunch of holes in it. And I'm assuming for, I don't know, I guess you can slide it more this way. And uh, I don't know. Ease of adjustability. I'm sure that works on many different models depending on what you're doing. If you go further back on the holes, is that putting more tension on the spring or is that adjustable that way? Did you take the weight off the truck? I took like a good majority. You should take it all the way off. Take all the weight off the axle. We want the axle floating. Oh, dude, you got a ton of weight on here. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. All right. Now your axle is drooped out. We're tag teaming We're the whole. We're in thing. the hole. We're tag teaming the hole. Okay. Upside down pineapples. So if I remember right, Nick said that one's twenty percent. This one's forty percent. If I remember right. Okay. So I could be wrong. Once Danny goes ahead and gets his bolted down, well, tightened up on the bolt that goes underneath the leaf spring there, then we get to start playing with the tension on the spring. And it would be a guessing game if they didn't have these little little feeler gauges here, which you can see. You basically just put inside of the spring and go for that little gap. So the let's see, the white disc is twenty five percent. Uh, load carrying capacity adjustment and then the black one which is a little bit thicker there that one is 40 percent additional load carrying so we're gonna see uh danny toes pretty heavy so do we go i've black. been thinking about this all day okay what are you thinking we feeling black disc let's see that's kind of where i'm thinking let's just go for it danny is just tightening down that portion underneath the leaf spring hopefully you guys can see that All right, we got super strong Danny in here. So apparently you're supposed to put a ratchet on this end right here, 14 millimeter. And then you're supposed to uh, put a wrench on here and basically by turning this, you get those coils to spread. So Danny's just over here doing it by hand, manhandling it. We don't need no ratchet, right Danny? No. I think we're already at 20%. Almost. Almost, okay. Let's see how strong we are, let's see. Get it Danny, get it Danny, get it Danny. 20%. All right, we gotta go to 40. That is not happening. We're gonna, we're gonna test out. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna test out 20, see what that does tonight. Let's we'll see, let's we'll see. Oh yeah, yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's not bad by hand. See? I mean, 40 might be crazy. I'm gonna try for 40, just cause we can. 
It's because we're here. I hear some things creaking. You got a 40? You got a 40 on you? Oh, we got some. We got some wiggle? We got some wiggle. Not much. Not much. We're, we're definitely not at 40 yet, though. No. Eh? Almost? Maybe. Should we make like ratcheting sounds? That's a really sloppy ratchet. <laughs> we're putting a lot of faith in that thing so far. Yo, that Harbor Freight Jack is solid. Like, I can see why you'd want to do it with a ratchet, but. Yeah. But we're close. All right, I'll let you take over for a second. Is that like 30%? Exactly yeah, yeah, we're about 30. Can 30. we just do like a happy medium? Nah, because there's no way to gauge 30 on the other side, so we want to make them even. That's, that's fair. All right, you got this. We're close, Danny. Between the two of us, we're going to get this, buddy. We're going to get this. You think three turns is enough? No, my hand was slipping. Oh, okay. I need some chalk. Spit on him. <laughs> we need that wrench. <laughs> You're giving up? We can't give up, Danny. We're gonna beat this. Get it, Danny. Nah, uh, it's done. You think so? See if you can grip that. All right. Let's see. I got short, fat hands. See? It's oh. turning. I mean, it's not fun to turn, but it's turning. See, you got the advantage. I got short, stubby. I got short, stubby hands. <laughs> you got long, lanky hands. You can, re you can grip around it. That's 40% right there, if I've ever seen it. Good enough for me. 40%. Now we just gotta tighten down these jam nuts here. Lock it in place. Now, we just happen to have Fern stopping by tonight. And uh, Fern's truck also has Roadmaster Extra suspension on it. As you guys can see right here, this has been on Fern's truck for quite a while, as you can see how dirty it is. We got our teacher checking our work here. Everybody <laughs> say hi, Nick American Duramax. What up, buddy? Hi, Nick. If we wanna order a Roadmaster Active suspension, can we order from you? Yes, on my website, scovilmotorsports.com. Yeah, it comes with 24 hour tech support. There you go, look at that. And I have tested that. Yeah, it is. It, uh, it, it is true 24 hours. It is nine o'clock at night here. So apparently these brackets are like extension brackets. Uh, if you have the overload springs, which Danny does not have. Oh, I can't get up, both, both my hands are occupied. Oh, there we go. Danny, you don't fit in this wheel well. I bet. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So Fern's got, he's got a 350. He's got the factory overload springs too. Um, plus he's got some weird airbag bracket thing tying in and whatever. Regardless, Danny truck, we're not gonna need that extra piece, but if you have a 350 or you have the overload springs, uh, then you will need to use those little extensions. Now, if you guys have ever done this before or you actually watch a much better instructional video than what we have probably just put out. Use a ratchet, it's, it works a little bit. Oh, there you go. Uh, you could probably do this install 15 minutes, I'd say, give or take. If you, really like, easy. if you really wanted to race through it, you could do this install in like 15 minutes. That compared to an airbag setup, which, I mean, Fern also, does he also have bags? Is Fern like double dipping over here? Yeah. Fern's got Roadmaster Active Suspension and airbags. Fern just wanted to cram as much stuff as he could underneath here. But by the time you run airbags with the compressor setup and slash or train horns, if you're Fern, um, and Fern also likes to off-road this truck way too hard. And I'm sure this has fallen off a time or two. I mean, look, his horns are all broken. <laughs> Airlines run everywhere. So there's just a lot more involved in running an airbag setup. Now, I personally run them on my trucks. I have zero experience driving and or towing with the Roadmaster Active Suspension, so I am not sure as to the benefits. So far I can see though, that you have uh, ease of install. Oh, oh, that's a busted knuckle. That's, yep, mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That, that's, what, that's what we get for saying it was faster uh, this way than by hand, <laughs> or actually by hand was faster. Here, let me, let me help you, we'll do it together. Oh jeez, are we even going the right way? Yeah. Let's crank down on the jam nuts here. Oh, oh, oh. Go ahead, Danny. Lower down the old uh, Harbor Freight Badlands jack there. <laughs> I'm a little scared. Scared of what? Oh, man. Look at that. The ride height is still good. Danny's going to pull out now. Hopefully not hit anything in the shop. Meanwhile, Fern's working on some something, something going wrong on his truck. We'll get the Bronco lights back lit up here. Those rigid lights looking good. Little A-pillar lights. I mean, it looks like it's... It might be a hair high in the rear. See, that's what I said. Maybe just a hair high. So Danny just backed up to the trailer here and uh, well, obviously the ball was taken off at this height. And uh, you adjusted the hitch the same height? Same, same height. All right, so the hitch is just a hair higher now. Now again, we also set this to like the most tension, the 40% low capacity, whatever you want to call it. The truck sounds great though.
All right, we've got about 11 and an eighth. All right, put some weight on her. Coming down. Coming down. <laughs> this forklift is heavy. 12,500 pounds. All right, 12,500 pound forklift. All the weights on it? Yep. All right, we are at about nine inches. So we gained three quarters of an inch? About, about seven eighths of an inch we gained. Oh, look at this guy. Fern comes equipped with a headlamp. Hey, how many dikes? Whoa, Fern, you can't say that, man. Uh, zip tie cutters. Uh, kind of. Gender neutral things. Now remember, Danny doesn't have the overload springs, so typically you put a lot of weight on there. I believe you'd have the overload springs plus the Roadmaster Adkins suspension. I don't know if you can tighten these up more than the 40%. I'm not sure if that's I a thing. American Duramax would probably answer that better. Roadmaster Adkins suspension, maybe they'll comment on this as well. Yeah, so we got basically an inch lift back out of the rear that we didn't have. That's a lot of weight right there. Well, if so. you guys think, if you guys look, when we put the forklift on the chain, we're on the ground. Right. They are no longer, they're not loosen them or tighten them, and they are off the ground. There you go. 12,500 pounds, plus 12. a 4,000 pound trailer. So we're sitting at a 16,500 pound load behind the truck. 16,000 pounds with the Roadmaster Active Suspension. We were able to lift the truck back up an inch. And again, it's also ride quality is what you're gonna gain back. So I know we're just playing around with just like the truck sagging and all that in the rear because it's the easiest thing we can actually measure right now. Like Danny can go drive this thing and tell you it rides better, but we can't actually feel that through the video or anything like that. This is about the best test that we could do so far. But if you go to Nick's channel, American Dirt Max, he can give you kind of the ins and outs. He'll, I think he's got some videos of him driving it. Roughly 500 bucks. So that's about what you would pay for an airbag kit, depending on what you get. If you still get like the higher end ones with the actual compressor built in, like the little wireless remote, you're gonna pay more than that. You just cannot beat the ease of install. And again, maybe you can crank these up even more than they are right now. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if you would want to. It seems like they were pretty set on you either being a 25% load difference or a 40% increase. So we've got it set at 40%. We've got 16,000 pounds sitting on the back of this thing and she's not squatting too bad there. Straight. We survived, we made it, we had enough propane. Yeah, the truck doesn't look bad from here. Actually, it doesn't. sitting pretty good. Sitting pretty well, also keep in mind, you've got probably, a, what, close to a thousand pounds in the bed? Probably. Well, you got a bunch of, uh, got a bunch of wood, got toolbox wood toolbox, freaking a lot of chain binders in the rear here. Toolbox, yeah, I mean, look at all this, this whole crate right here of binders is pretty freaking heavy. And there's still some suspension play in there. There you go, look at that. Alrighty guys, so we just wanted to make this video to show you guys an alternative to airbags, something super simple that you can do in your driveway and does not involve a crazy gnarly install. And clearly again, you do get some advantages out of it. Check out Roadmaster Active Suspension. Check out the homie Nick, American Duramax at scopelmotorsports.com and get you guys all dialed in. Um, and again, just another option you guys can weigh if you guys wanna go airbags or you guys wanna go with this setup. We just wanna show you guys multiple options. You've seen tons of airbags on my channel. You've never seen a setup like this. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, get a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah.